Hi, my name is Carlos Gutierrez, and I am the co-founder and executive director of Cinema Tropical. And I want to welcome you to the 12th annual edition of the Cinema Tropical Awards. Cinema Tropical is a non-for-profit organization that promotes, distributes, and programs Latin American and US Latinx cinema in the United States. And with this evening ceremony, we will be closing the festivities of, of our 20th anniversary year. We would like to thank you all for your general support in attending Cinema Tropical screenings and events, donating to our 20th anniversary fundraising campaign, and participating as part of our wonderful community this past year. We really could not have done it without you. Every year since 2001, we have brought an independent jury to honor and highlight the best Latin American and US Latin, Latinx films of the year. And we're very happy to be celebrating our 12th annual edition. It's certainly challenging times. It's really, it's certainly been challenging times for everybody. And we hope that in giving voice to these films and filmmakers, we can offer alternative narratives to the hegemonic ones for a more just society. Tonight's event is made possible as well as all of Cinema Tropical programs by the general support of the New York State Council on the Arts. I expect a uh, very special thanks to Juan Pedro Agurcia, producer of tonight's show and the creative mind behind all of our great clips and visuals. Also, uh, big thanks to the amazing Cinema Tropical staff, Mary Jane Marcasiano, Director of Strategic Partnerships, to Pilar, Gar Pilar Girickson Garrett, Associate Director, and Yesenia Sanchez, our great intern. A special thanks also to our to Cinema Tropical's Board of Directors as well. Well, and now on to the winners. All of the films under consideration had a minimum of 60 minutes in length and premiered between March 1st, 2020 and March 31st, 2021. The films that premiere after that date will be considered for next year's awards. This year, eight ex outstanding films were nominated for Best US Latinx Films of the Year. Let's watch this video to meet the contenders. This year's jury for Best U.S. Latinx Films was composed of filmmaker Cristina Ibarra, the two-time Cinema Tropical Award winner for her films Las Martas and The Infiltrators, Alejandro Riera, film critic, publicist, and movies and TV editor at MANU, a Latino counterculture magazine, and Juan Cáceres, who's a senior programmer at the Urban World Film Festival. And now, to introduce the first award of the evening, please welcome jury member Alejandro Riera, who will announce the winner of the Cinema Tropical Award for Best U.S. Latinx Films. Alejandro? Thank you, Carlos. Uh, folks, it was a great year for U.S. documentary, Latino, U.S. Latino documentary filmmaking, as it was for fiction uh, filmmaking. So it was a tough choice for us, the judges, to pick our winners for tonight, but we actually have two of them. That shows the strength of U.S. Latino filmmaking here in the United States. So without further ado, the first winner of our U.S. Latinx award goes to Through the Night 
uh, Loira Limbaugh's wonderful portrait of a 24 hour daycare center, the mothers who depend on that service and the community that's built around them. And just like the, you know, one of the reasons why we awarded this film as well as the second one, which we'll announce shortly is because even though the film captures a moment in time and tells the story of this one space, we figure we felt it was also very contemporary and it was also of our moment since it's a film that celebrates those uh, frontline workers that sacrifice so much and are still sacrificing so much uh, during the pandemic. So without further ado, here's a clip of the film followed by a few words from director Loira Limbal. Come on, mama, time to get up. Come on. Morning, baby. All right. Noah, time to get up. I've been doing this for 22 years. I have all different types of families in my daycare. I have some that comes in at 6 o'clock in the morning that works to 8.30 at night. I have some that comes from 3.30 to 12.30 at night. I have some that comes in overnight. I see a lot of parents come in and break down. They don't want to do this, but they need to work and take care of their family. All right, see you later. All right, baby, have a good day. Be careful. This is the way the world is set up at this point. I never really thought of overnight childcare until I had to use it. I've been working seven days, so almost two months. If I'm not working one job, I'm working in another job. Hi, mommy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Love you guys very much. It's not just a job. Turn your sheet over. This is really our life. My sense. children, ever since they was the age of two years old, they had to share me with other children. I remember my children saying, Mommy, why do they have to come first? Mommy! As parents, you make sacrifices. It's not their fault. So, I just do what I can. It's not easy, but, you know, eventually I'll sleep. Do we love each other? Yeah. I didn't hear you. Yeah. Do we love each other? Continue to have nominees when you need surgery. Uh oh. This work is hard. I don't want to stop doing what I'm doing because I feel like if I lay down, I'm so tired I might not get back up. Greetings, saludos. My name is Loira Limbal. I am the director producer of Through the Night and it is my honor to receive this award on behalf of our entire team and our protagonists. Many of these people I have not seen in a long time due to the pandemic, so please bear with me as I name them because I feel like it's the closest that I can get to them, so I'm gonna call out their names. Our producers, Jamika Autry, Nicole Dacta, our director of photography, Naiti Gamez, our composer, Osei Ased, assistant editor, Tatiana Jenkins, dear friends and editor, Malika zuhali Varal, our partners at Lucky Lucky Pictures, Big Little Girl, Long Shot Factory, our broadcast family at POV, all of our funders and supporters. It was truly a village effort, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. My deepest gratitude to our protagonist, Dolores Nunu Hogan, Patrick Hogan, Marisol Valencia, Shinona Tate, all of the children, families, and staff at these Tots Daycare, thank you for trusting us, for opening up your homes and sharing your stories with us and with the world. I'd like to thank my mother, Luz Reynoso, my children, Kamali Da Silva and Naila Ayo Da Silva. Todo es por y para ustedes. Gracias. And lastly, I would like to thank Cinema Tropical, for lifting up this film and the stories of single mothers, caregivers, essential workers in our communities. I think Through the Night is ultimately a story of love, interdependence, solidarity, and the networks of care that Latinx and African American women have always created to help us survive and thrive in a very unjust world. So thank you. This recognition means a lot to us.
First of all, thank you and congratulations to Laura for her extraordinary film and her extraordinary work. Our second winner is Cecilia Aldarondo's touching, poignant, incredibly poetic, and excessively relevant documentary, Landfall, wherein Cecilia captures a moment in time, that moment being the aftermath of Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico leading up to the 2019 protest in San Juan. But I will argue that given what's happening right now with the uh, tax incentives that are displacing so many Puerto Ricans from the residences in the island and the crypto pirates who have taken over, it's gained much more relevance. So without further ado, here's a clip from Landfall uh, followed by a few words from Cecilia Aldarondo. Uno se maravilla con las bellezas de Puerto Rico, uno se maravilla de que Puerto Rico es alegre, de que nos gusta fiestar. Pero al venir María, Entonces nosotros pudimos ver los jodidos que estábamos. El verdadero desastre vino después. Más de 5.000 personas fallecieron por la inacción precisamente del gobierno. New investors are coming to Puerto Rico. People that want to protect their wealth. Government services should be privatized and put in your hands because you can make money doing it. El gobierno que parece que no le importa la economía en la que tú tienes que sobrevivir. Entonces no, no, no es justo. Ten mucho cuidado con cómo usted me está hablando, amigo. Usted es un hombre blanco y está en mi terreno. Como un denominador es el bienestar común. Si la gente se sentirse vulnerable, pues qué van a hacer. Después de María dijimos, ¿sabes qué no? Soy yo para decirle a un joven, no cojas un adoquín cuando quizás se le murió su abuela por falta de esta gente. ¡Esto no se va a acabar! Este era el huracán que teníamos estacionado en el centro del pecho. Es ahora o nunca. Yo quiero vivir esta isla como se supone que la podamos vivir. Nuestra. Saludos, everyone. My name is Cecilia Aldarondo, and I'm the director of Landfall, and I'm so honored to receive this award. It's the second time a film of mine has won, uh, and it tastes sweeter the second time, I have to say, especially to share this award alongside my filmmaking sister and comrade, Loira Limbal, for Through the Night. Um, I just want to say um, how moved I am and, and grateful to the jury who uh, who chose this film, to Carlos of Cinema Tropical, who is always ensuring that we do not disappear. Um, and I also want to thank everybody that helped Landfall uh, become the film that it is, particularly my team, Lale Nemro Pastor, Ines Hoffman Cana, Pablo Alvarez Mesa, and Tara Jean Long. And of course, uh, our major funders, Field of Vision, ITVS, Latino Public Broadcasting, and POV. This is a film that was realized through public funds, and that means a hell of a lot to me, especially because it is a film about the ills of privatization. Uh, the neoliberal plunder of Puerto Rico continues. Uh, please watch Landfall if you haven't seen it. Um, I, we In that film, we glimpse uh, a new world, a different world in which people are free, in which resources are shared, in which the common good is respected. That is the Puerto Rico I know and love. And uh, again, I just want to thank everybody who uh, enabled us to make this film and, uh, and who awarded us this award today. Gracias. Muchas gracias, Alejandro, and congratulations to both Loira and Cecilia. And as she mentioned, as Cecilia mentioned, it's the second time she wins uh, the award for Best U.S. Latinx Film after her debut feature, Memories of a Penitent Heart, in 2018. 
And now on to the Latin American cinema category. The winners of tonight's awards were selected from Cinema Tropical's annual shortlist of 20 films that were selected by the organization as the year's best. We have uh, four awards to announce in the Latin American cinema category for best documentary, best first fiction film, best director, and best film. And let's watch the video to meet the 20 contenders of this year's Cinema Tropical Awards. Members of this year's Latin American Cinema Jury are Isabella Fondevilla, Director of Programming at the Roxy Theater in San Francisco, Jula Danolo Balan, Founding Artistic Director of the Star Harbor Cinema and Selection Committee Member of the Venice Film Festival, Hayden Guest, Director of the Harvard Film Archive and Senior Lecturer in Harvard's Department of Art, Film and Visual Studies, Jay Laplante, Executive Director of the Miami Film Festival, Ignacio Sanchez Prado, Jarvis Thurston and Mona Van Duin, professor in the humanities at Washington University in San Luis, San Luis, an editor of two book series, Latin American Cinema at Sony Press and Critical Mexican Studies at Vanderbilt University Press. And Josh Siegel, creator of the Department of Film at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. A, spe a special thank to all of them for their time, commitment and professionalism. And please welcome jury member Hayden Guest, Director of Harvard Film Archive to announce the winner for Best Documentary. Aiden. Thank you so much, Carlos. Uh, and I want to say what a great honor it was to be a member of this jury and to um, have the task of selecting um, the award winners from this group, wonderful group of 20 films. In terms of documentary, it was an especially rich uh, selection. And so we decided to that the award would be shared uh, by two films. These are two films, they're both first films, they're both by women directors who turn for inspiration to their family histories and their experience as daughters who uh, received their cameras from their fathers. The uh, first film is a extraordinary uh, work that looks at, again, from the point of view of a daughter, looking at the figure of her father, a legendary filmmaker, and reconsidering his legacy and his um, unique filmmaking. Um, it's a film that's called Como el cielo después de llover, this calm after the storm by Mercedes Gaviria. Let's take a look 
at a clip from the film and then uh, we'll hear from the director, Mercedes Gavidia. Matías creía que nuestras imágenes no servían para nada, que iban directo al vacío. Nos culpaba a los dos por recurrir al gesto violento que supone filmar al otro. Reclamaba que la vida era primero vivirla que filmarla. A mi papá esto no lo inquietaba, porque sabía que su cine pasaba por fuera de la casa. Los videos de su familia eran solo una forma de acumular recuerdos. Y al principio, yo creía lo mismo. Pero en las imágenes de esos niños que crecen y en el diario de esa mujer melancólica, yo estaba encontrando otra forma de hacer cine. Hi, my name is Mercedes Gaviria Jaramillo, director of the Calm After the Storm, o como el cielo después de llover. We were already so happy to have been nominated by Cinema Tropical because being surrounded by films and directors we admire is such a huge honor. So receiving this award is even more exciting for us. Uh, we are very, very happy. Thank you so much to the jury and Cinema Tropical for this award and for the value you saw in our work. Uh, bye and maybe see you soon. Thank you again. The Calm After the Storm is a courageous and intimate film that uh, recovers uh, the archive of home movies to tell a different story. We could say the similar, a similar strategy is taken but with very different means by the, the second film that shares the best documentary um, prize. This is a film that also uses home movies, but home movies that are charged by the extraordinary coincidences of that they captured a terrible uh, and um, um, frightening um, explosion that uh, really shook Argentina. Uh, and this film looks differently at that event and then and at the way in which uh, it's what it reveals echoes across um, both the local community as well as the entire country. The film is called Splinters Esquirlas and it's by Natalia Garayalde. Vos mirás y ponés BTR. Cuando tenía 10 años, mi papá compró una Sony 8 milímetros para guardar los recuerdos familiares, dijo. Eran los 90 en Río Tercero. Esta es la fiesta de Año Nuevo de 1994. En ese momento todavía me gustaba el olor que tiene la ciudad. Fue el último año que me animé a dormir sola. Papá estaba contento. Todos estábamos pasándola bien. Después, nada fue igual. Hola, una casa maravillosa. Se enciende fuego la casa. ¿Está abierto algo allá? Sí, pues vaya.
sono venuti tranquilli in parte. Mi accompagnanti e direttore. Un, be un beso per la camera. Molto bene, molto bene. Felicità. Thank you so much, Hayden, and congratulations to Mercedes and Natalia, two very potent debut features by both filmmakers. And now, um, on behalf of the jury, I will announce the winner for Best First Fiction Film and the Cinema Tropical Award goes to All the Light We Can See, Toda, Lu Toda la Luz Que Podemos Ver by Mexican director Pablo Escoto. Let's watch a clip of the film and his acceptance speech. Ni un ser vivo, ni uno muerto. ¿Una estatua? Un chamán que penetra en el otro mundo y regresa. Un metamorfoseado. Es haber salido de la gruta. De las fauces animales que engullen, despedazan, que tajean y escupen bajo la luz del sol. Thank you very much to the jury for this award and to the team of Cinema Tropical for supporting our work. This film was produced by a group of friends learning how to make cinema with their own means, a lent camera, tripod and sound equipment and the support of many friends and family throughout the years. It makes us very happy to receive this, this recognition, this celebration of our work and it'll, I, we also hope it inspires other filmmakers that are creating autonomously to continue making films, even if sometimes it's a very difficult process. Um, espero que todas las personas que vean este video estén bien y saludos a toda la banda que apoya nuestro trabajo y lo lleva apoyando todos estos años. Este premio es para ustedes. Gracias. Congratulations to Pablo. Uh, we actually had the pleasure to host the US premiere of his debut documentary feature, Ruinas to Reino, Ruins Your Realm, at our festival, Neighboring Scenes at Film at Lincoln Center in 2018. And now to announce the winner of the Cinema Tropical Award for Best Director, please welcome, you remember, Isabel Fondevila. Isabel? Hola, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, uh, Pilar, and all the Cinema Tropical team. Uh, they were, uh, thank you for hosting these very special awards uh, for 12 years now. Uh, the work you do for the promotion and exhibition of US Latinx and Latin American cinema in this country is so powerful and so essential. I really cannot imagine the world without Cinema Tropical, so thank you uh, for all you do. Um, it has been a pleasure and an honor to be part of the jury this year. A uh, big shout out to my fellow jury members. I learned a lot from them and uh, I enjoyed um, our deliberation time very much. Uh, I gotta say it was uh, not that easy to give only four, well, basically five awards among so many great films and uh, so much talent behind them. So I wanna encourage everybody watching to seek out all these films and definitely keep an eye on all the filmmakers. Um, as I say, it wasn't easy, but we did it. We did our job and made some decisions. And for the best director category, 
uh, we decided to give the award to a director who impressed all of us in the jury in a very equal manner. Uh, his debut feature film is a haunting portrait of Brazil and a plea for empathy towards the transgender community. It's a film that challenges stereotypes, uh, defies narrative conventions, and establishes um, an impeccable and precise visual composition and pacing. And all of this done with a great deal of confidence. Uh, the film I'm talking about is Madalena, and I'm honored to present the Best Director Award to Mariano Marchetti. Let's watch a clip and his acceptance speech. O espírito? Espírito? É, você acredita? Oi, eu sou Madiano Marquete, diretor de Madalena. Estou muito feliz e honrado com essa notícia, com esse reconhecimento. Quero muito agradecer ao júri do Cinema Tropical Awards. É, e também a equipe do filme, principalmente aos produtores do filme é, e as empresas produtoras, a Apollo Filmes, a Racoa Produções, a Vira Lata TV e a Terceira Margem. E eu comecei a pensar esse filme há seis anos atrás e junto com os roteiristas a gente buscou naquele momento pensar um filme que de alguma forma pudesse retratar é, uma região do Brasil que é muito pouco é, vista ainda nas telas do cinema e algum tempo se passou depois desse início de ideia e o Brasil mudou muito, mas eu acho que o filme ainda continua muito atual e que eu, aquela ideia inicial, há seis anos atrás, me parece agora fazer ainda mais sentido. É... Madalena é um filme duro, que parte de uma morte, mas de alguma forma é um filme que fala sobre vida e e traz alguma esperança é, quando pensa em resistência, em formas de resistência. É, é isso, eu quero muito agradecer a todos, é, a todo, todo mundo, todo o elenco do filme, a toda a equipe do filme e, e ao pessoal, a todo o júri do Cinema Tropical Awards. Obrigado, obrigado de novo. Congratulations to Mariano uh, for winning the award for best director. And thank you so much, Isabel, um, and for your kind words. And now to announce the final award of the evening for best film, um, the winner of the Cinematic Award for best film, please welcome jury member, Josh Siegel, who's creator at MoMA's Department of Film. Josh. Thank you, Carlos. First, I just wanted to uh, Raise a glass of mezcal. I can't, there's no, I'm not allowed to do any product placement here, but it's a wonderful bottle of mezcal given to us on the jury by Cinema Tropical. But I raise a glass to Cinema Tropical on its 20th anniversary. It's an extraordinary accomplishment to keep this institution that has been not, it's such a, at the heart of so much of Latin American cinema for the past two decades alive. And it's really to the credit of all the people who were, have helped to organize this event. Uh, I also want to thank my fellow jury members. Uh, deliberating with you was almost as much fun as watching the 20 films that we were allowed to watch. Uh, and you've given us hope for uh, Zoom meetings in the future. But finally, I just want to raise a glass to all of the nominees and to our winner, Nicolas Pereira, for his latest film, Founda, which is easily one of his best. A wonderfully acted, genre bending caper that felt uh, deeply satisfying in a time of uh, a pandemic because it felt like revisiting old friends uh, who we've known from his other films for so long. So with that, please join me in raising a glass to Fauna. A ver, Asli. Asli me say na. Eres actor o no eres actor. 
No. no. Sí, pero... Pero pues, ¿cómo así? Pues así nomás, en confianza. No, es que no, no sé si le dijo a Luisa, pero es que en esta temporada no tengo diálogos. Allá después ya crece más mi personaje, ya tengo algunos diálogos, pero pues en esta pues no, no tuve diálogos. No le hace, tú hazle. Hello, I am super happy to receive this award for Best Latin American Film from Cinema Tropical. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Um, the first film of mine that screened in New York uh, was with help of Cinema Tropical in 2009, 2010, more or less. And I've seen this organization screen amazing work all throughout New York City over the years. And so it's a particular honor to receive an award from such a, an amazing, well-functioning organization. Uh, thank you so much. Congratulations to Nicolas. Uh, as he mentions, we've been big fans of his work for numerous years now. And um, congratulations again to him and to all the winners. Thanks again also to our wonderful jury members. Thank you, Josh, also for um, announcing the winner. And that's it for tonight. Um, just a reminder to be on the lookout for more news on Cinema Tropical's uh, winter spring programming, as there are lots of exciting things to come. Thank you so much. Buenas noches. <laughs>